it is a beautiful but surprisingly breezy October afternoon and we are at Islip Saddle in the part of the San Aaron Mountains to do the upper half of the South Fork Trail that runs above the South Fork of Big Rock Creek down to the South Fork Campground. There are two trails at the back of Islip Saddle parking lot. The one going up is the Pacific Crest Trail heading north and is the one that you take to climb Mount Williamson. The less obvious one going down is the South Fork Trail, which is also the Pacific Crest Trail at the moment, bypassing a closure a few miles ahead. The end of the trail is marked by a post giving a length of 5.1 miles. Our plan is to do the upper half of the trail today and then complete the trail with a second hike in a few weeks or so uh, coming up from the bottom. And just the first little ways down, we come to this very nice spot where this fallen tree uh, arching over a little stream bed here. Michelle, why don't you uh, give us a sense of scale there? It looks like um, quite a substantial stream bed, but I think it's actually uh, fed entirely by runoff rain and snow melt. I don't think there's any actual um, any actual springs or consistent water source for it. So it's probably almost always dry. But it's a very pretty spot. And just a minute or two farther on than that we come to our first really good view. That little notch there is the last turn um, on the Angeles Crest Highway before, like when you're going into Dawson Saddle, which is the highest point on the road, with Mount Lewis just off to the side of it there, and it's running up there towards Troop Peak, and then all the way up along here to Mount Islip. And of course, just over there is where we started uh, Islip Saddle. Look all the way out the other way, we get just a little bit of a view of the Mojave Desert. Just a little bit from here. One of the difficulties with the South Fork Trail is that it doesn't get as much maintenance as it used to. You can see um, along here there are the rock walls that are sort of holding up the um, scree that's coming down the, the sides of Mount Williamson here, but they tend, as in just here, to get filled in. The stuff has just come right over and filled up the trail. We were here a few years ago, and I remember it being actually even much worse than this. So apparently, the it has been getting some maintenance, probably it's currently uh, the detour route for the Pacific Crest. So it's in a little better shape than I remember it. But I understand it's much worse at the uh, north end of it, uh, down by the South Fork Campground. So we'll see when we go there how much, how much worse it is. Hmm? The way we came. Yeah, that's pretty good. Ah, yeah, I don't know how well this is going to show up on the camera, but uh, the trail just there went through a basically a rock, rock outcropping. So, so. Oh, we've come to another one of these little dry creek beds, in this case with just a little bit of fall color in the trees. Actually, quite nice trees here. There's even some cedars and some small oaks. Chickadees. And it's chickadees. Probably, are probably not going to show up very well, so, so small, but... And a bug on my lens, I think. And 
It's a, just a really beautiful little shady spot here. Most of the trail is kind of exposed on the side of the hill. And this is quite a sheltered little spot here. I like it. And Shelly has been practicing a little bit of bushcraft, identifying... Well, maybe. Scat. We are guessing... Yes, there's her foot. We are guessing that that is actually bear. And here is the next little post. Uh, showing us that we are now at mile four. So we would have come, I guess, 1.1 miles down the trail. And this spot also gives a bit of a different view. Uh, squeeze between the trees here. There's Dawson's saddle. But now we can see much more of the ridge coming up from there. So I think that the highest point there is actually Troop Peak, and from there, I think it comes down uh, towards Mount Hawkins, and then eventually um, Windy Gap, which would still be behind the side of Mount Islip here. So a little different view. Also, just the very nicely forested valley that we've been hiking next to. This is a very nice sort of open pine area that we have in this part of the mountains. And another nice set of rocks here for us to hike through with the trail running right through all of that. And a major feature that we've been uh, watching on the far side of the valley is a very rocky ridge. It's very quite spectacular to look at from here. And if I'm ever here at the crack of dawn in April or May, this will also be a place that I can look for bighorn sheep. Although, I haven't heard of any coming into this particular valley for a little while, but if they did, that would certainly be a place to look for them. Well, this isn't a very distinctive place to turn around. Small trees here, but it's after four, and it's about time for us to start heading back. I want to get back to the car before it gets dark. So, we never saw mile marker three, so I'm not really sure if we've made it halfway or not. I won't find out until we project the GPS track onto the map when I get home. But for today, this is where we are. Well, um, this is uh, mile marker two, so we have in fact come more than halfway, but that is not why I came here. Shelly, my dear, tell them why we came farther on the trail when I just said we were going to turn around. I wanted to get a closer look at this wall here. I don't know whether it's in shot, but the crumbly wall with the crumbly rocks up above it. And I got uh, maybe not quite as far as we are now, close to it, and there was a bear walking up the trail toward me. And it was believe it, we'd, saw, we'd seen another bear, bear in this area earlier, uh, months ago, and it was, this was about the same color, if, that's, if that means anything. So I went back to get Mark and the camera, because I don't have a camera with me, and by the time we got back here, the bear was gone. Yeah. Presumably he's still very nearby, but we can't see him, we can't film him. So twice this year, Shelly has spotted a bear, and I have not got the camera in time. <laughs> and we have absolutely got to start s strapping that GoPro to you. I mean, that yeah. is all there is to yeah. it. All right, well, one of us had an adventure anyway. <laughs> okay, now it's time to go back to the car. <laughs>